something came to me last night after I prayed. And I know I heard this before, but I didn't understand um, what it's saying. What if we're all on, all in our own universe? Because the Christ letters really tell us that we are the creators of our own universe. We might look at ourselves as oh you're you're the human being or you human being but what if we're experiencing different things in our own u universe um according to our vibration according to our vibrational energy according to the frequency that we're on according to our consciousness and if we're and and what came to, came to me is if we're in our own universe is everyone seeing the same sun is there is everyone seeing the same sun you know it's like it's just like a universe everyone as or our different sun everybody's experiencing different things according to to the way and according to how according to our vibrational energy so what's in your universe what's in 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 your universe what 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 would we like to see in our universe and <clears throat> What would we like to see in our, our, our universe? And when I talk about that, I'm thinking about um, um, like a Merkaba um, energy force around us and, and depends on what's, what's going on inside of us, bad or good. That's what uh, we're radiating in, out into the world. So that's why... Um, um, the Christ letters teach us that be careful of what you think, your thoughts, your thoughts. You're creating your own universe. So if your thoughts um, uh, are not lined up with love and good things, you're creating in your universe what, what, what you want to experience. And that's why um, the, it, it also tells us that um, this punishment of God and all that, it's it, the punishment of God is us, is what we do because what we do that we're experiencing. Because if we're in our, in our own universe and we have to abide, we have to abide by the laws of the universe. And the law of the universe says, whatever you sow, you reap. And I know for me, hearing that, I think, oh, whatever I do physically, whatever I do physically, I reap it. No, but whatever you think in your thoughts, whatever you're putting in your thoughts, that's what you're reaping. Whatever you're, you're doing in your, in your own universe, that's what you're reaping. That's what you're putting out there. That's what you're seeing in yourself in this world among the other universe. So if you have doubt, if you're still hating on your brothers and sisters, if you're not growing spiritually, if you're, if you're stagnant, if you keep criticizing, you're just hurting your universe. You're not hurting anybody else. And that's one of the revelation I came into that if you talk about someone, you're talking about yourself. Whatever you think you're doing um, to others, you're doing it to yourself. Look at the man in the mirror because it's your universe. You might hear the word. It's your universe. You control it. So go in the mirror what kind of universe you want what kind of universe you want and you created in your mind 
created in your mind. And 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 sometimes I wonder you hear people talking about um uh, manifestation and all that. This is how we we probably manifest um um our universe, uh, manifest the things um in in our lives because if we are the creators of our universe and it just came to me last night if we are the creators of our you our own universe then we need to start thinking what we want our universe to look like oh the best house the best cars the best health the best jobs you know put it in your mind we create our reality we live in a hologram universe and this is how now i understand why why i keep um hearing uh when when my higher self told me uh we live in a hologram because we create the 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 experience we want to do you really believe that do you really believe that so we have everything is us everything is us don't look outside of ourselves for anything everything us we are the the, the christ you're looking for we are the the christ you're looking for is within us the christ you're looking for is within us we create our reality because remember people have to wrap their mind if we are the son of god we still have a, 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 that divine connection to that source. If you have a child, you're, you're, you, you're, you're, your child of your essence. And that's, that, and that's all we are. That's why we have the force. Because we have the power. Um, the, not the power, but an aspect of the power of our father within us. So... Um, I know people um, commenting on my, in my channel, oh, God, punish. No, you are your own universe. Whatever you sow, you reap. You have to abide by the laws of the universe. You have because you are, you are in control of your own universe. And if you don't abide by the laws of the universe, then the balancer, the great equalizer, they call her karma. And 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 when you mention karma, people um, go into that place. It's just a balance. It's to balance things out. So when when you do something and you see the effects and karma come in and you see the effects of it, you're not gonna do that again. It's just the great equalizer. It's just to balance things out. So you learn from that and you start again. So. We are our universe, own universe. So create the universe you want to live in. Go in your mind and your thought and with all your being and create the universe you want to live in. Feel it, not just think about it. Feel it, experience it. Experience it. Try it. Be blessed, everyone.